Hello there and welcome again to my workshop. Today's project didn't exactly start off uh, real good. I put a piece of aluminium in my saw and snapped the blade so I had to go to um, second choice and uh, cut it through with that. Uh, so I'm setting up um, this piece of aluminium. It's um, two inch by one inch by two inch. So it's two inch square by an inch um, in thickness or 25 mil and um, what I'm actually doing is I'm setting up in the, the little mini mill that I converted to CNC and um, I've got a, a very simple 3D uh, carving for it to do really it's just a test piece um, it's a, a teddy bear's face actually uh, it's 14 millimeters in depth and uh, so I'm, I'm trying different speeds and feeds here. I, I initially set it up in at cam at um, 1.5 millimeter depth of cut and um, 12 millimeters per second, which is about half an in, half an inch a second um, in um, cutting feed rate, um, and the the little, little mill is flat out doing 5,000 RPM there. Um, so I, I've actually got this running at 30% of, of oh, that's uh, cutting um, feed then. Um, so that mean, oh, what's that? Uh, that'll be about 4 millimeters a second. Um, so as you didn't get bored, um, and th the reason I'm telling you this is because quite a bit of this film is speeded up photography and um, I do occasionally run normal speed uh, so you can see that um, in actual fact I have sp sped the or speeded the um, the feed rate up uh, this is normal speed there's me jiggling the camera around so um, I'm gradually progressing the speed up or speeding the speed up to, uh, to see what the, the mill will actually do. Uh, I didn't run it at 100% because it didn't, I don't know, it just didn't, um, it didn't sound right. So I think I ran it about 80% at its uh, at the fastest rate. I actually did this in Atcam, uh, Atcam Jewel Smith, um, and in Atcam Jewel Smith, it actually has adaptive um, machine strategies, which is uh, what you're actually seeing now. It's an adaptive machine strategy, um, which turned out very, very good. Actually, I was very pleased with it. No, no hiccups. It was very, very straightforward. So I'll ju just let you watch this. This is normal speed. And I think I'll speed it up again in a minute. So I'll just let you watch this for a few minutes and um, I'll shut up. This is now running uh, the fastest rate that I, uh, I allowed it to run. Um, at this point, I think actually I did let this run at 100%, uh, but I slowed it up just before it plunged into the material to take a, a full depth of cut there. 
and I think I knocked it back to about 80% so it's running 80% now and uh, I, I, I don't think I'd probably run it any more than that I mean the the little SIG uh, drive motor is um, I think it's 350 watts and um, it was I did notice it was starting to get a little warm so um, and I'd, I'd never really sort of I felt it actually with the prolonged running uh, of, of any sort I've, I've, I've never actually run this mill at any pr prolonged periods of time so um, I did notice th I, I think it was the end of this um, roughing um, roughing cut that uh, the motor was quite warm and I put an electric fan in there I think I might pan up to it uh, in a few minutes um, to uh, in an effort to, to keep it a little cooler so um, well we'll see how time when time goes on we'll see how the motor um, keeps up with the machining uh, you know sort of um, prolonged um, time of use so um, um, I suppose I can always um, upgrade the motor at some point So that was the end of the roughing cut and I did uh, find a couple of problems. The little shield there over the X uh, drive motor, I I put a zip tie on it because it was actually working loose and I put a fan in it there to assist with the uh, drive motor cooling. Um, it actually worked um, after the um, after the finishing cut, this one, I, um, I felt the motor and it, was, it wasn't quite so hot and uh, you know it was running flat out I think the motor does 6,000 rpm and uh, I think it did this job in 53 minutes uh, you know this finishing uh, cut so um, yeah I, I, I think uh, I'll persevere with that motor and I see no reason why it shouldn't be okay
So I hope you've liked um, this little demonstration of um, 3D carving with a converted uh, CNC little mini mill from a, a SIG X2. Um, so please press like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, on my channel you'll see uh, CNC machines, so CNC routers and lasers and I do quite a bit of wood turning and um, I hope you uh, enjoy and tell your friends because uh, that's the way the, the channel grows. So um, thank you very much for joining me and uh, I think you'll agree it turn didn't turn out too bad for the first job. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you again next time. So it's bye for now.